What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Deep View Media with me, your host, Mr. Work. All right, y'all, let me give y'all a little history on the Benjamin Franklin Bridge. Originally called the Delaware River Bridge, it was renamed in 1956 to honor Philly's own Benjamin Franklin. This massive suspension bridge stretches almost two miles across the Delaware River, connecting Philly to Camden, New Jersey. When it opened in 1926, it was the world's largest suspension bridge. Those massive cables hold the bridge up, giving ships over 135 feet of clearance to pass underneath. This bridge isn't just a way to get around, it's a symbol of Philly, just like the Liberty Bell or a good cheese steak. My bad, big guy. How y'all doing? Elfriff's Alley dates back to 1703, making it one of the oldest continuously inhabited residential streets in the United States. It was named after Jermaine Elfrith, a blacksmith and property owner in the 18th century. Elfriff's Alley is in the Old City section of Philadelphia. 32 houses were built between 1720 and 1836. Originally home to working class artisans and tradespeople like blacksmiths, shipwrights, silver and pewter smiths, glass blowers, and furniture builders, today most of the houses are private residents. Elfrith's Alley is a fascinating glimpse into early American life. Walking down this cobblestone street really feel like stepping back in time. Woo! <laughs> 
Independence Hall, the birthplace of American democracy. Construction began way back in 1732, and it was originally known as the Pennsylvania State House, but its destiny changed forever in the summer of 1776. Right there, in that very hall, the Founding Fathers debated and signed the Declaration of Independence, a bold statement that launched a new nation. And that's not all. Eleven years later, they returned to draft the United States Constitution, the very framework of our government. So take a moment to appreciate the history you're looking at. Independence Hall stands as a symbol of freedom in the enduring spirit of America. Alright y'all, coming up on our right we have the Fashion District. The Fashion District runs from 9th Street to 11th Street. I'm going to let Mr. Brian tell y'all the latest of what's going on with the Fashion District. The Fashion District, a vibrant hub in the heart of Philadelphia. This place has trendy boutiques, big name brands, delicious eats, and entertainment. But big changes might be coming soon. Right now, there's talks of putting a brand new state-of-the-art 76ers arena there. They are calling it 76 Place. This will bring big changes to Center City if this goes through. But not everyone is cheering. Just steps away lies Chinatown, a vibrant cultural gem. Residents are worried. Will the arena bring overwhelming crowds and traffic? Will rising rents force out beloved businesses and families? Will the unique character of Chinatown be lost? And what about the fashion district itself? Will it be squeezed out or can it thrive alongside a major sports and entertainment complex? These are some questions facing Philadelphia today. The future is uncertain, but one thing's for sure. Center City is at a crossroads. The decisions made today will shape the city for generations to come. Twelfth and Market, <clears throat> the Marriott on the west side of Twelfth and Market, and on the east side you got northeast side you got the Hard Rock Cafe. Look up, towering above the heart of Philadelphia, it's City Hall. This architectural masterpiece isn't just a government building, it's a symbol of the city itself. For over a century, it stood as a monument to civic pride and ambition. Imagine the countless decisions made within those walls, the debates, the deals, the dreams for a better Philadelphia. 
And up there, almost 550 feet high, stands William Penn, the city's founder, keeping watch over his grand vision. Take a moment to appreciate the intricate details, the stunning sculptures, the sheer scale of this architectural marvel. It's a testament to the artistry and craftsmanship of a bygone era. City Hall, a landmark that defines the Philadelphia skyline, a witness to history, a symbol of hope for the future. On the west side of City Hall, you have Dilworth Park, an urban oasis right in the heart of Center City. This vibrant green space has something for everyone. Kids can splash in the interactive fountain, while adults relax in the shade of towering trees, grab a coffee and pastry at the cafe, or enjoy lunch from a food truck. In the winter, glide across the ice at the Rothman Orthopedics Ice Rink, and don't miss the free events. From movie nights to concerts to festivals, there's always something happening at Dilworth Park. So come on down, reconnect with nature, enjoy the vibrant atmosphere, and experience the heart of Philadelphia at Dilworth Park. This is Love Park, but it's more than just a name. It's a feeling, a vibe, a piece of Philly soul. For generations, this plaza has been a gathering place, a spot to hang out with friends, soak up the sun, and people watch. It's where couples say, I do, under the iconic love sculpture, a symbol of hope and connection. It's where voices rise in protest, demanding change and justice for all. And it's a place to simply be, to enjoy the green space, the fountain, and the view of City Hall. Love Park, a place to celebrate, to connect, to be yourself. Nobody's saying The Pennsylvania Convention Center, the beating heart of Philadelphia's event scene. This massive complex isn't just a building, it's a hub of innovation, a stage for big ideas, 
and a showcase for everything Philly has to offer. Imagine the energy of thousands gathered here, sharing knowledge, making deals, and shaping the future. From massive trade shows to inspiring conferences to unforgettable celebrations, the Pennsylvania Convention Center hosts it all. And don't forget the history. This place seamlessly blends modern amenities with the grandeur of the former reading terminal, a reminder of Philadelphia's rich past. So come experience the excitement. The Pennsylvania Convention Center is where connections are made, ideas are born, and memories are made. Notice the building to the left, the white building with the clock on it. That's the new Philadelphia Police Headquarters. I'm gonna let Mr. Bryan tell y'all more about Police Headquarters. This isn't your typical police headquarters. This is the former home of the Philadelphia Inquirer, a historic landmark reimagined for the 21st century. For decades, this building was a newsroom, a place where stories were crafted, deadlines were met, and the presses roared to life. It was the Tower of Truth, a symbol of journalistic integrity. Now it's a hub of public safety where police officers work tirelessly to protect and serve the city. Cutting edge technology and modern facilities have transformed this grand old building into a state-of-the-art headquarters. But it's more than just a place of work. It's a symbol of progress, of a city striving to adapt and evolve. A place where history meets the future where the pursuit of justice continues. The former Inquirer building, a new chapter for a Philadelphia landmark, a commitment to a safer city for all. Escape the urban jungle and discover the rail park, a hidden gem where nature reclaims its place in the city. This elevated greenway follows the path of a former railway line, offering stunning views and a unique perspective on Philadelphia. Stroll along the winding paths, admire the vibrant murals, and discover hidden pockets of green. It's the perfect place to unwind, connect with nature, and escape the hustle and bustle. Whether you're a jogger, a biker, a dog walker, or simply seeking a peaceful retreat, the rail park welcomes you. Come explore this urban oasis, where industrial history meets natural beauty. The Rail Park, a breath of fresh air in the heart of Philadelphia. All right, y'all, that's it for the day. I appreciate y'all. Thank everybody for stopping in. And peace until the next time. If y'all made it this far, say Rail Park. <laughs>